Well, today we're looking at the 750 watt GW20 from Crystal e-bikes. So e-bikes, they make you get out of the house. They make you want to ride again. I mean, you know, for the older guys, it's perfect to have an e-bike. You can enjoy riding again. And for the young guys, it's great too. I love to come out in nature and just photograph some birds. And uh, this e-bike allows me to do that. I'm on number two. And uh, it's quite sufficient for these little paths in here. But I'll open it up a little bit later on. So I'm going around about 22 kilometers an hour at the moment. A lot of bush turkeys around. Now I'm on three and I'm doing, oh, and I'm doing around 28 kilometers, 29 kilometers an hour. It's a little bit windy out this afternoon. I hope you can hear me. And with these uh, four inch tires, it gives you quite a nice ride, nice and comfortable. All right, put it up to five. And I'm going around about 33 kilometers an hour, 34. And that's on rough terrain, 35 we reached. But my uh, comfortable speed was, uh, is at three. I like to cruise along and still have a little bit of power. So the first thing we're going to do is install the battery. So what you do is there's a lever underneath the seat. You can see the lever right there. Lift it and the seat opens like that. On the actual battery, there's a couple of rails here and the rails will go on, on these rails. Push it in and turn it on. And let's check the battery level. And as you can see, all three lights are coming on. I don't know if you can see that. And just put the seat down and lock it. So again, it's the Crystal 750 GW20 folding e-bike. So it is a 750 watt motor. Now I've had this bike for three years and uh, it's been a joy to have. It just made me want to go out and ride again, which is awesome. And I use it for my photography and everything, just to get to places. What does it come with? It comes with this, this front basket, which is really solid, really strong. It comes with the front light. It comes with the phone holder. It's got a seven speed Shimano gears. Bracket here is for my GoPro, so I put that on. There was no backlight, and this bag here, I put it on myself and it acts like a, uh, a saddlebag as well, so it's insulated. 
So you could put drinks in it, you could put it wherever you want, and the sides fold out like a saddle. Opens from the top, and I usually put my tripods in there. So it's on both sides here and here. Easy to put back, just like that, and zip it up. And all zipped up, ready to go. The tools that it comes with is like this multi tool wrench and this little pump here, which I've never used. Now, in saying that, with this tool here, I bought one myself because I don't really like that one. And I brought this one here, and this has got etch actually everything that this has got plus more. And this has been awesome. Very, very good tool to have. I'll put a link in the description for this and for this here. If you're interested, head down, take a look for yourselves. And it folds up nice and neatly like this. Perfect. Okay, so you saw me install the battery, and the battery is on. So let's go through the menu here. All right, so you've got your three dials over here. You've got a middle one and a plus and a minus. Middle one is an I for information. And if you hold the middle one in, the screen should come on. And there's the screen. I'm trying to get the glare out. Okay, so we're in pass one, which is a pedal assist. And you just press the plus button to go up and down. The plus and minus button. So plussing it now all the way up which is your highest speed and it doesn't round robin so you can't click it again so you got to go with the minus and go back down and in zero the throttle is over here it, it doesn't work and it's full pedaling with no assist now you've got your kilometer range here that you've traveled now to clear that is you press the middle button twice and it goes back to zero energy bar on the top here which is full at the moment and to turn the light on the light is off you hold the plus button down so let's do that and the lights come on and to turn it off again just hold it in and the lights come off now it is a uh, folding bike and you can adjust the seat as well through this lever here and you can adjust the handlebars with this lever here push this lever up and then bring this down then you'll be able to fold over the handlebars for easy access if you want to put them in the boot or the back of your car no problems or storage and the middle folding section so you have your lever here for the middle section push it forward and then open this way and uh, the bike should fold and to close it just lock it back into its position. very solid very strong now when you do fold the bike it does have a little a section down the bottom here which the bike can rest on instead of resting on the chain here and again to turn it off just hold the middle button and off it goes and to turn it off from here turn it right off like that recharge it you've got this little port here and you recharge it that way so like I said before, it's a seven speed uh, Shimano and the motor is 48 volts, 750 watts. The wheels and tyres, the wheels, both wheels are 20 inch and the width is, is 4 inch. As you can see, it says it just there, 20 by 4. Now the length of the bike is 102 centimetres. When it's folded, it's 95 centimetres by 75 centimetres height and 45 centimetres width. Now, the maximum weight that this bike can carry is 150 kilos, and that is combined with whatever you put here and whatever you put here. Now, the distance you can travel with this without pedal assist is 30 to 40 kilometres, and with pedal assist, it's 60 to 90 kilometres. Obviously, weight will determine the kilometres that you get out of this bike, the bigger you are, the less kilometres, 
obviously, because it's got a lot more load to carry. It does have shock absorbers, and this, side, this side's the lock, and you also have the system of adjustment as well on this side. That's the 750 watt GW20 folding e-bike from Crystal.